it's probably crazy to write anything here, but I'll try. There is no choice, one hell. I don't remember how much time has passed. I had an ordinary, unremarkable life, family, neighbors, spool. One day I woke up in an empty apartment. Something happened that could only be thought of in the worst nightmare. Outside the window was a gray rain. At that moment I knew nothing about this phenomenon. The parents were not at home. I don't even know where they went that day. Going out into the street, a terrible picture appeared in front of me. Everything was in smoke. Somewhere houses were burning. Somewhere. Cars and small structures. It seemed that the end of the world had come. Like a movie. A lot of time has passed since that day. Barrel is in play, home sweet home, the safest place. How long have I been putting things in order here? People have disappeared. It looked worse than the most sophisticated filmmakers could imagine. In one night, people turned into monsters. Or rather, some of them. Others just melted like acid. I then wandered the streets of the city for a long time, hoping that I would find at least someone alive. There was acrid smoke everywhere, because of which the streets were not visible. You had to look into every open house. Sometimes it seemed that I was not alone, but whenever I discovered any sound, it was animals or monsters. I have never met an ordinary person. An excellent receiver. I always turn it on when I go to town. The backpack is full. I need to upload something. The backpack is full. I need to upload something. It is quite difficult to find good housing in the city. Very quickly. After the disappearance of people, the electricity went out. The concrete high-rise buildings are extremely cold at night, empty, and nothing can warm them up. But the wooden house is very good in this regard. It is easy to keep it warm, and there is also water nearby. For me. The city is now a zone of hunting, entertaining food and electricity. Shops, pharmacies, everything is worth it. It is gathering dust, and inside there is enough of what you can profit from. The flashlight remained in the village. You can light the road with a torch. Well rested. We need to get ready for before driving. You need to open the gate. It's time to go. For the most part, I am very lucky that in cities there are many cars with full tanks. There are gas stations, supermarkets with an endless number of batteries, accumulators, 
generators. All this can be used to generate electricity. Unfortunately, many apartments remained closed from the inside, which made it impossible to release pits. And it is unrealistic. There are hundreds of thousands of them. Now there is a bad smell in many entrances. Someone, however, managed to get out through the windows. I, if possible, just beat them with stones to open the way for the animals outside. Something to do. The main thing is not to drive hard. There are a lot of stones. In the village I left the things I had collected for the journey. We need to collect them. I need to make it before dawn. Since the day I got infected, I've watched tons of movies. Some were made scientifically, some were trash. But practically everywhere I saw people transmitting something on radio frequencies. It was necessary to find a receiver that could not only receive data, but also broadcast. From time to time I turned on the broadcast on different waves, talked about myself, said what frequency I was listening to, and that I was really looking forward to an answer. I do not know what I experienced at the moment when the receiver gave out words through the noise. I had to stop, frantically grab the diary and write down the coordinates from the speakers. A female voice dictated landmarks where the bunker was located, in which people were hiding. At that moment I started my journey. I have been preparing for this path for a long time. You need to pick a strange flashlight on. Now I can carry more things. The door is open. Someone has been here. Probably a bear. Someone gutted everything. I hope nothing imp- I need to get the gun. I left it in the closet at home. The flashlight has run out. The backpack is full. I need to upload something. Replace the battery. You need to pick up your things and move on. I left them in a house with a sign. I went on the road at night to arrive at the bunker in the morning. I had to spend quite a lot of time at the entrance. Better it will be the day. I don't want to stay in an unfamiliar place for the night. When I got there, I carefully studied the situation. A large massive wall. Everything around looks abandoned. 
strange things crawled near the wall, like human hands with pincers. An unpleasant sight. I could not open the entrance behind the wall, but I saw a couple of options on how to get over with the help of the scaffolding. True. First you need to better examine everything and find out if there is electricity outside. You need to look for something useful that might come in handy. You need to be careful and attentive. Not pressed. There is probably no electric. What was it? Control point. Made of wood. Something has switched. I need to turn on the electricity. But this is already interesting. Excellent! Something turned on. Here I tried to study them, but I did not understand where they came from. The hand looks real. Damn, it wasn't easy! Cut 
cover lettering behind. The tank is filled. Incredibly, there were people here. Who could the sheets are soaked? It's hard to read anything. The door is locked. You must enter the correct code. Great! It's up! As it turned out, there is still electricity. And even the trigger mechanisms are working. Probably somewhere hidden is a backup power source, which is still not depleted. On the territory of the entrance to the bunker, a huge worm or a clot of processors grew. He looked like a slug. It was he who generated those hands with paws. Where the hands come from is another question. So far, everything looks very, very strange. Once in the bunker, I had to decide where to go next. On the walls I found growths emitting some kind of spores. It looks creepy. Unfortunately, I have not yet found any people or traces of their recent presence. We need to find at least some signs of people. So now, does not turn on. It is a pity that the monitor does not show anything. Where are the people? Strongly tired and sweating, already being inside, I locked myself in a small room and slept, hanging my clothes to dry over the ventilation. The air from there was purified and smelled pleasantly of something, as if it was not carried by a fan. 
but by a stream of wine straight from the mountains. There are no signs of people yet. Everything is covered in dust. It can be seen that no one has ruled here for a long time. Now I have two options. I turn home or continue on my way. There is a noise outside the doors. Something is clearly happening there. It is a pity that these are not voices of people. They are probably somewhere on other levels, hiding. Or may not. Until you check it, you won't know. Probably it is worth, after all, to move on. Full. The backpack is full. I need to upload something. I've never seen anyone like that. Strongly tired and sweating. Probably it is worth, after all, to move on.
back the backpack is full. I need to upload something. Cap. Never seen anyone like that.
try. Having barely dealt with a large slug and made their way into the bunker, I was greeted by a horde of modified human remains, hands, bodies, skulls, all covered with growths and boards. Having studied the first tier, I could only understand that there was a research complex in which experiments were carried out on people and some creatures of unknown origin. After fixing the elevator and going down to the third tier, the situation calmed down a bit. I urgently needed a break to reflect on what was happening. I was tormented by only one question. Is it worth going further? And is it too late to return? Somewhere inside, there was still a glimmer of hope to meet at least someone alive. What are you doing here? 